Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a 100,000 subscriber video. Uh, this is going to be a Q&A video because you guys have been asking for it, so I'm going to question it. No, other way around. No. Q&A, whatever. Uh, so, a couple days ago, I put out a, a video asking for questions on a website called ask.fm, and you guys came with 275 questions. Hmm. So we're gonna try to get through those, and there's also kind of like, Oh, about 50 questions on uh, the video itself. So I will try to get to most of these today. Uh, I've got about 25 minutes or so that I can do some talking right now. So we're going we're gonna to eat up about 25 minutes of time and ask some questions. Uh, if you are wondering, today's game in the background is called Castronauts, and Castronauts is a kind of an arcadey little uh, space shooter where you pew pew around and collect money and then bring it back and do other things and go out and and once you die then you get some leveled up so I've got some uncut footage of that when I was trying it out um, it's a fun little game but not really a game that I'd like to let's play so if you are interested in, in it then down below in the video description we'll have uh, the links and you can go check it out on Steam when it's released so let's get into some questions um, I'm gonna keep some of the privacy ones to myself I'm not gonna give out my real name or uh, like what state I live in stuff like that um, so I'll, I'll try to do some stuff, but I still want some privacy as the channel is a gaming channel, not a, a vlogging channel. Uh, so I, I do want sort of a barrier between that, but I'll let some down some walls and let you guys know some more stuff about me uh, on this. Uh, so first question is, if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Pizza. It would be pizza. And it would be pizza because you can eat anything on pizza. If you want breakfast pizza, then you can have breakfast pizza if you want dessert pizza go ahead if you want fruit pizza or if you want fruit on your pizza then go ahead and do it but if you want vegetables you can't get that from pizza because vegetables on pizza is disgusting question three is what exactly does your youtube channel mean and how was it made uh let's see well i am i'm about 70 percent german by blood and norwegian for the rest um my grandparents came in from Ukraine they were they were settlers from Germany to Ukraine and they came from Ukraine to central North Dakota in or through Canada so to central North Dakota during World War one or right before World War one uh, so uh, grandparents or great grandparents great grandparents were and and then they my my grandmother was two when they came over so um, I'm, I'm almost pure German, or I'm, I'm a lot of German, and my dad's side of the family is pure German, and then my mom's got some, uh, but uh, that's kind of where it comes from, and then Blitzkrieger obviously means like lightning warrior, or lightning wars, Blitzkrieg, uh, so that's kind of that's kind of where it comes from, and then the rest is uh, because Blitzkrieger was taken on Xbox Live when I first signed up, so I just kind of played around with something that wasn't taken, and that kind of stuck. So, uh, next question is, judging from the fact that you always say, keep your stick on the ice, you play ice hockey. So what position? Hmm. Yes and no. I, again, I grew up in northern Minnesota, North Dakota, where ice hockey is really big. Um, UND, the Fighting Sioux, or the school without a nickname now, uh, they were a huge um, hockey area. Same with the uh, University of Minnesota Duluth. Um, so I grew up in a big area for ice hockey and all of the all of the medium and large sized high schools had hockey and I kind of grew up around the hockey a lot but I never played it because my school was really small I was one of 59 in my graduating class so I was pretty tiny and we just didn't have the the funding for ice hockey so I never did play it um, I never played it really as position or a, a, a scheduled sport so uh, how do you make your art my art is made by Bushido Arts uh, he does most of the like the concept art and he did the channel art and all that stuff um, I am not an artist at all I don't have a creative mind which is why you don't see me doing heavily edited videos either because I just can't figure out how to do it um, I just can't do it at all I can draft I can make straight lines and squares and stuff but I can't make creative art um, so, what is my f or next question is what is your favorite pet? 
I only have one, and I guess it has to be her, my annoying cat. I do like her, but she she's in the room right now, so she'll probably murder me in my sleep if she hears me. Uh, but that's that's okay. Um, let's see. Next up, Ben. Hey Blitz, I've been a sub for so long as when you almost started off. So here are some questions I wanted to ask you. How long have you been married? Oh, eight years. Eight years. Uh, how many kids do you have? We have one. It's Mini Blitz. He is eight months old. Uh, will you ever do a face cam of a horror game or any games at all? No. Uh, I do not like face cams. I, if I see, I know this is personal taste. If I see a video with some dude's ugly face in the bottom corner, I'll, I'll go to a different video. I can't stand watching someone unanimated just sitting there staring at a computer screen play game. I, I, I just find it so annoying during a gameplay. Um, and horror games when you get these YouTube bait games like Five Nights at Freddy's that people are acting and screaming and looking into the camera and making a big show. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. And I, I'll, I'll never do a, a face cam of a horror game like that. Um, I seriously doubt that I'll do a face cam in any game at all. Um, so that's kind of the way it is. And I know that's that's a, a big a big seesaw answer on YouTube. There's some that really enjoy it and some that don't. And I'm on the don't side. So if I don't enjoy it, and I mean, I, I can barely even keep my train of thought when I'm playing a game, let alone trying to look into a camera once in a while. Uh, so why don't you ever mention your family at all? I do once in a while, but again, it's more of the games rather than the, the family. If I wanted to do a family stuff, I'd do a vlog series or a, a different channel with vlogs on it. Uh, Blitz, what is your real name? I'm uh, not telling you. Can you show your face? Yes, I can. And I will um, when I get my silver play button. I'll do uh, I'm, I'm leaning towards doing an unboxing video for that and that'll be according to YouTube it'll be somewhere between 8 to 12 weeks after I'm allowed to sign up for it and that has not been put available to me so sometime probably in the next three to four months we'll do a, a, a show your face thing maybe that'll be a 200,000 subscriber special no it won't be that close uh, I wish that'd be cool, but I don't think we'll we'll grow that quickly. We might might get some cool games coming up. Uh, next question is, what was your first video? It was a really really bad video on a game called Star Maid. A decent game, but bad video. And uh, it was I don't even remember. I deleted the video from YouTube because I had uh, protected music in it, and I didn't want music that I didn't have permission to use on YouTube. So most of the, or my entire Star Maid series is gone, and they're, they're pretty cringe-worthy. Uh, so, oh well. Uh, next question is, do you watch any other YouTubers? Yes, yes I do, but I don't watch Let's Play videos. Um, I do occasionally. Uh, I actually just watched uh, Slip Gator and Zildjian play an arc. <laughs> I enjoy watching those two nerds derp around. Um, but I, I don't really watch... Uh, I don't have much time either to watch YouTube videos. I used to watch a lot of Minecraft back when I had more time, um, but uh, that was like Generic B and Etho. I watched them a lot. Uh, but I do, if I do have time now, <laughs> this is going to sound really weird, I watch a, a channel called Steve Ramsey, or Woodworking for Mere Mortals, and he does, <laughs> it's kind of cool, he does like um, quick and easy woodworking projects, and he's got a, a fun personality. So I like watching him, uh, I like watching what he does, and he always comes up with a cool project every week, and that's about it. Uh, if I have any time, I'll probably watch Netflix rather than watch a YouTube video. I just, I don't really have much time. Um, let's see, next question. When did you start your channel? June 28th of 2013. Where are you from? I answer that. Uh, I grew up in, in western Minnesota, north and western Minnesota. Uh, when looking for games to play on your channel, what are things that you look for? Um, let's see, the first one is not too much coverage on YouTube. Um, usually newer games, I look for newer games that really haven't been played much. 
because I enjoy playing the games that I, I would rather explore. Um, and obviously RimWorld, I played that for a long time, but I was one of the first to have RimWorld on YouTube as well. Um, so I usually find a game that I enjoy. It's in my, my set genres of games that I enjoy. Uh, and I play them for a little bit to see if I'll, I'll like it. And then if I do like it, then I will play it. Um, and I mean, there, I'll play just about anything. Um, one of the things that I look for is usually good art, uh, good good music, and uh, non-bugginess. Because I've had some that I've run into that are really, really buggy and bad. Um, so I guess that kind of answers it. There's a whole big... I did talk about that in one of my, my breakdown videos a few months ago on how I pick a game to play. So if you want to look at that, you can look at that. Uh, hey Blitz, can you play the Pirate King pack? I have no idea what that is. Hi Blitz. Hi. Hey Blitz. Are you doing a Let's Play uh, with the expansion packs in RimWorld? Oh, Pirate King pack in RimWorld must be... Uh, is that an expansion pack? Well, I don't know. I guess I've kind of missed out on that. I gotta figure out some new news. Uh, when do you think you will stop YouTubing? When it stops. Um, <laughs> when it's no longer worth my time to do. Uh... Before all of the when is the face reveal questions come up, don't do a face reveal. Your channel is already doing so well, so fast you don't need it. Just because a bunch of Minecraft channel people did face reveals and everyone went crazy doesn't mean you have to, and don't let them. Again, uh, I'll make it optional. I won't put it in my videos. You guys don't want to don't want to do that. Uh, you don't have to see. Uh, ASL. Are we, are we on AIM again? Is this 1998? Uh, do you travel? If so, what country or city uh, you had visit and when? So I've been to Canada, I've been to Mexico, I've been to Japan, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Thailand. I've been to probably about 60% of all of the U.S. states. And... Hmm. Um, I guess the, the last trip I took was... Oh, hi, Kitty. <laughs> Kitty came up right behind the mic. Uh, last trip I took was a three-week road trip. Uh, oops, Kitty. Uh, to... We flew, my wife and I flew to um, Vegas, Las Vegas, and we took three weeks and we drove to... Colorado Springs and we visited like we backpacked to the bottom of the Grand Canyon We spent a couple nights down there went to Zion National Park backpacked around in there uh, We did arches and Canyonlands National Park. So we did all like I think it's called the big five Bryce Canyon We went to all of those and, and played around and uh, did some off-roading in some vehicles and backpacked and hiked and fished and it was it was really really fun trip uh, we ended in Colorado Springs with uh, my parents met us there, and then we did some stuff right before all those big flooding happened um, back a couple of years ago. I guess last year we went to San Francisco as well. Spent a couple of days. I had a work trip in San Fran, and my wife joined me out there, and we went fishing in the bay, caught some sharks and some other fun stuff. Um, so I guess we've been we've we've kind of visited a lot. Uh, your thought about kids these days? You know, the internet, e-gaming, it's much more different than I was a kid. Yeah, um, it really is. You know, the, the way I look at it is YouTube's kind of turned into Saturday morning cartoons for kids. Um, you have all these Minecraft channels that are basically cartoons. Uh, you have people that cater to kids with their, their dialogue and their their gameplay and... Hey, it. I, what I what I don't like is the channels that cater to children and they use large amounts of vulgar language. Uh, I, I think that's disgusting. Um, and I don't I, I wish there was kind of more control over it, but I, I understand it. and it's kind of parents, you know it's on the head of the parent too if they should know what their kids are watching too. Um, so um, that's I guess that's kind of it kids these days, it's going to be a lot more different to see what the, the technology generation... The kids now, um, like, I've got friends who have a 13-month-old. A she knows how to turn on an iPad already and, and scroll around, which is kind of scary. I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't even know how to chew on a book at that age. Uh, so it's going to be interesting 
watching in 20 years what this next generation is like of children now and even like the 10 euros old and under it's gonna be interesting because there's a whole much more open and available to them uh, next question is why don't you live stream I don't have time I, I really don't um, <laughs> I don't uh, let's see do I have any fears not really I don't really have fears uh, do you smoke? Nope, never have. Uh, what kind of pizza you like? Um, I like Hawaiian. I guess that'd be kind of my favorite Hawaiian or bacon, bacon on pizza. Uh, why is your new username Blitzkrieg, sir? What's your favorite music? I don't really listen to music. Uh, favorite game to play as a child? Sonic Two, maybe. Um. Hmm, I had a football game, Game Day 2013. I also had a baseball game for Genesis that was really cool. Um, and it was cool because you could edit the rosters, and I had a team that every position was a slugger, and I was winning every game like 100 to 4. And I had a pitcher that was terrible, but he had a knuckleball that nobody could hit, and it was really neat. Um... Mm hmm let's see next are you going to reply less in the comment section because you're a bigger youtuber uh no I'll probably reply the same amount that I do now um but it's been hard recently to find time uh, like weekends I'm having a hard time on weekends I do I'm um, like my lunch break uh, at work and kind of a little bit when I get home uh, are you going to upload more videos since you're becoming a bigger YouTuber? I don't know how I could. I don't have any more time than what I do now. Will you do more games in the future and upload more? Um, I, yes. Will you twerk? No. Will you do a video on your 100,000 subscriber plank? Is that like the thing back, what, four years ago, the whole, uh, viral planking on top of weird things thing. No, a plaque. Yes, the 100,000 subscriber plaque. I'll do a video uh, unboxing for that thing. Are you going to do any live streams soon? No. And where do you get the saying, keep your stick on the ice? Oh, I guess, did I cover that? Did I cover that at, up top? I don't remember. Uh, it's a hockey, ice hockey reference, where keep your head up or your, keep alert, be alert. Um, and like, you keep your stick, like the you keep your stick down on the ice or close to the ice rather than having it up in the air. So if the puck comes to you, then you can you can score a goal or you can pass it. Age, I am... I am upper 20s. We'll, we'll leave that. Um, eh, I'll keep you guys guessing. I'm still in my 20s. Uh, so involved with your audience, when do you respond to comments in previous episodes before you record the next one? I kind of. I take about, uh, like, in my lunch break when I get home from work. Uh... You said in your videos that you do work pretty long day and then you come home. How do you manage to squeeze everything in your day? So, uh, let's see, my day, I wake up and I guess the day starts waking up and I put the days or the, hmm. I wake up and I upload videos and I do like the, what are they called? Uh, I do the description and the tags. I do all that stuff um, and then I just copy paste over into the next video. And then I upload my videos for the day, the scheduling and everything ready to go. Then I drive to work. I work a nine hour shift and I come home and then I play with mini blitz and my uh, talk with my wife for about, maybe just do family time for about three hours. And then I'll, I'll record videos after that. And then I edit, I don't do much editing. Um, so that's why it doesn't take me too long. I just pair my audio and put that back in. Um, so I'll do that. And then I render when I'm asleep. And then I upload in the morning. So that's kind of the schedule. Let's see. What got you interested in doing YouTube videos? Uh, basically, I saw other people do them. How did you get started with making videos? And was it hard working out what content you wanted to upload? It was harder to understand for me on how to actually do videos in general. I had no clue. I don't know what a codec was. I had no idea what software was, and I just uh, I just started uh, tinkering around and going with it. Let's see. 
Uh, that pretty much answers it. And it it was hard to start out. Um, I just wanted. I, I thought this is weird. I thought every single game was like the same amount of people played them. So I thought like Minecraft had the same amount of people as Call of Duty, and I thought Call of Duty had the same amount of people as like Super Mario Brothers, and everyone played the games equal. Like every game was equal. I didn't really realize there were small indie games and in huge. <laughs> that was my cat. I didn't realize there were different sizes. So I jumped into a game that had nobody playing it, which was Star Made, right after Yogg's Cast played it, and there were a whole bunch of videos on it already, and I just started going to town, making videos. Did one a day, had no idea what I was doing, and then I kind of started to work on it and try to figure out the whole YouTube system and how to get more followers by playing more relevant games and then the size of the game. So that's kind of how I started going. Uh, let's see. What series do you enjoy the most doing on your channel? And congrats on 100 subscribers. Uh, you know, I don't know. I enjoy RimWorld because it's it, it's simple to record. Uh, I guess that's a good way to put it. Um, but I enjoy like learning a new game. I think my favorite this year so far has been The Flame in the Flood because there was nothing. Like nobody knew anything about the game. And just exploring it and being sheltered from a whole bunch of other videos. That was really cool. Uh, would you stop this? What are you doing, cat? It's playing in the window. I don't know why. Uh, would you buy a million lobsters to put them in your worst enemy's home or in your home and have a lobster party? That's actually an interesting question. Uh, when we were in uh, Vietnam, there were like the little Buddha statues everywhere. And one day we got back to the hotel and there was a lobster walking around the, the lobby of the hotel. It was an offering to the Buddha statue. I mean, I was hungry. I would have probably eat the thing. But it, it was kind of weird because it's like a sacred lobster walking around the hotel lobby. Name all your family members. Let's see, there's Dolores. She's the mom. And then there's Ted. He's the dad. And Timmy's the brother. And then there's Mutant, Mary Jane, and Pancake the dog. Uh, are you ever going to start a family gaming business? <laughs> my wife doesn't... My wife couldn't play Halo 3 on the hand-holding difficult. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so she's not really a gamer. We tried, we tried, and it just doesn't, doesn't really work. How do you make so many videos in two hours away from work? Uh, well, I kind of described that. I just kind of go through it and do it. Uh, what is a song to your outro? It's called Accidents Will Happen. And did I buy the intro or did you get it for free? Um, the song is free through YouTube. It's like the YouTube library song. It's about halfway through, but Accidents Will Happen. And uh, the outro for my videos is done by a buddy of mine. Uh, one college buddy got back in touch with me and we did that. Did anyone inspire you to do YouTube? Uh, I saw Ethos, Ethos Lab Minecraft stuff and kind of did it from there. When did the gaming habit start? I've been gaming as long as I remember. Some of my first memories are of playing video games. Uh, Asteroids on PC? Or on whatever Pentium. I don't even know what they were back then. Uh, Super Mario, my parents got that when I was about three. A Nintendo Entertainment System with Super Mario 3. Whenever that came out, we got that. Will you ever do a video cam? Probably. What's your first name? Blitz. What do you see yourself in ten years' time? I oh, I have no idea. I'm kind of, I'm kind of seeing if YouTube will take me uh, full time. How old are you? Upper twenties. Any tips? And any new YouTubers? And can we see your face? Sub from when you had 16k subs. Um, new YouTubers is understand marketing rather than under understand marketing. Uh, YouTube is all about creating relevant content and timing your videos well and having fun with it. So if you do those th things together, it should be better. Uh, how long does it take to make a video? For 35 minutes each one. And what is your job? I am a civil engineer. What is your favorite game? Dwarf Fortress. Top five favorite games. Uh... Mirror's Edge, Door Fortress, 
Dungeon Siege 2, Super Mario Bros. 3, Mass Effect 2 maybe? And are you going to play with someone else in the near future? Like baseball? No, not baseball. Probably won't play baseball. I actually built a fence today. I have a blister on my hand. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm playing with some other guys coming up. We got some plans. Can you do another series of Heroes and Generals? No. Uh, I don't enjoy the game anymore. Uh, ever plan on doing videos with fans? I would like to, but I don't have time. Do you have a Twitter? Yes. Same name as this. Uh, how do you find games? He, um, I just search for them. Actually, a lot of times the games find me. I get so many developers contacting me uh, now. Can you play Cookie Clicker? No, I can't. Well, actually, I, I can, but I won't. I can, but I won't in a video, because there's no reason to. That's, like, the most boring of all games to watch. Uh, what are you looking forward for your channel? What games are you excited to record? And what is your favorite game genre? Uh, my favorite genre is base building games. Uh, let's see. What games are you excited to record? Um, the next one that I'm really looking forward to is Shadowrun Hong Kong. Uh, but I think, I think that's enough for today. I think we got through a lot of them, maybe. <laughs> I don't know how many we got through. Um, but uh, yeah, keep keep the questions going. I'll, I'll do maybe five or six questions on every one of these channel breakdown videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you did. It was it was fun. And um, yeah, so about four months away from the play button, and I'll have to uh, watch sales to get a camera. So that'll be cool too. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>